They are doing it tough here, the home team. Grant comes up. Pryor was waiting like a hungry bear. Well, that's a couple of times now Melbourne have been able to get out of that in goal area when it looked like they would be forced to drop the ball out. Play on, said the referee. Step back in field. Pryor. Hasn't he turned into an aggressive leader, Matt Pryor? Two is the injury for Feeder. Yeah. Pryor. Pryor back to Ennis. They cross the halfway line in a moment. I can tell you now, James Maloney's got certainties here at Cronulla. They go short. Pryor's certainties here. And Pryor scores a try for Cronulla. Great. Cronulla off the ground. This will be. Maloney gives it to Pryor. Make Campbell Gillard slipped right, over in the down. line and only just. Oh, okay. Stays the same. Gets a break around the 23 25 minute mark. The feeder might go in a couple of extra minutes before. The defenders. Now for Ennis, keeping it nice and tight. Trying to catch Marcus offside. Pryor's the support. Nice speed is Grinnell. Dimension he has given the Sharks in 2016. Pryor. Fended away from Friend. Rather tired effort right there. And then a penalty. Quick, quick, quick. Left to right shifts. Heading towards Beal and Fecky as they go. Pryor. Oh, he got the offload to Maloney. Bold. But brilliant. By Jared Beal. Great tackle by the Sharks. Oh, no. Ran into Pryor. Pryor rushed up out of the line. You just about wouldn't see a game these days without it. Matt Moylan shading that side of the field, wants some support, gets it also from Dallin Matteni. He's a Lesney yard, but he's under pressure. Matt Pryor, who's having a great season. Didn't quite get the quick play the ball. Now Pryor with it. 20 points to two. You'd have to think that. Barber. Gallon. He's had a good month, Matt Pryor. And he celebrates with a try to put it beyond doubt for the Sharks. The Sharks make it four wins in a row. Well, he's been great without the ball this afternoon, Matt Pryor. He's pulled off some great hits in the first half. He really rocked the Raiders. He's got through his share of work and now he finds a bit of space, just forces his way over. A bit of a twist and a turn at the end to plant the ball down. Gallon doing the early work. Hodgson just can't hold him out. Oh, good stuff. Over the back. Hoffman. Ennis. Rubbers and chases. Needing the bounce. Instead the bounce is there for Luke. Who throws it out behind. And throws it to Matt. Here because Luke has just spotted to throw with the foot of Tua. He's not held. Down. Pryor just manhandles Tarek Sims. Gets over the advantage line very quickly. This is the way to follow up your first try of the night. Bromwich ran into Pryor there. But... Tries to bump away from Pryor a second time. He didn't want to know anything about that, Matt Pryor, and they drive him back 10 metres. The Dragons start to think about it a bit earlier. Without the same pressure, Pryor wrapped around Dugan. Oh, there's a sneaky offload, that one. No one was ready. No one was watching. Pryor on the towns in Lewis. There. At some point, no try was the call. 26-14. Precious few chances. A long time at this end of the field, the Sharks. A workhorse in this Raiders pack. And it's away. Here they are. Matt Pryor, an unlikely first try scorer for the Sharks, but that four is like goal. 12-4, soon to be 12-6. They've been well and truly outgunned Cronulla, but they are within a converted try at the break. Well, the Raiders displayed wonderful ball control for the first 35 minutes of the game. One turnover has provided the chance for the Sharks, which wasn't wasted. He ran a very good angle, Matt Pryor. The Harvey Norman replay showing a step off the right foot and a left-handed fend as well.
had James Maloney in support, but didn't need him. Ennis, Lyles on the siege there from Pierce, and also Orbison. Get the ball away, Galloway, friend. Taukayaho under pressure there from. He must have jumped from on the line. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, so he's out of play. But that ball went nowhere when Thurston kicked it. Our thoughts and our prayers on behalf of Fox Sports and the wider rugby league community are with the Bellamy family at this time. Well, they're tough to beat and they have an extra reason to win. It will be almost unbeatable. But they turn it over here, Melbourne. Yo can certainly provide one. He did that against the Roosters last Monday Pull night for Wonga Blake's spectacular oh, try. He's large oh, impact in that tackle. Wallace gives it to Merrim. Matt Pryor back out there. As both coaches go back to the first 20 minutes of this game right here. Milford in danger of going into touch. He got the ball away to Corios. I think as the scrum said, Waddell to Glenn just to bump it forward. But Pryor, what a season he's had. In the in goal area, the chases were there as the, the Sharks aim up in defence. They know how important this set of six is. Let's see if they can keep producing what they just have. And Ennis on the line, the fans started to find voice. Ennis kick, it was knocked out by Corker, knocked out by Watson, and Crowder has come up in a crowd. Double Shane Ball sort of going everywhere on the ground. It was a nice option from Ennis. And then Pryor getting through on the spoils and picks up the crumbs and away he goes, dives over. They needed that, the Sharks. Yeah, they did need it. Ken to make his, his 49th tackle of the night. Stand by for his next one. Pryor did one of those high offloads. Townsend's got it over that right side. Here's Lewis. Bird on his head. He's gone. And now Cameron Smith tries to make the easy metres out of dummy half. There's nothing easy about it. He went eight metres forward and his line as Ennis goes away. Finds Pryor. He dishes it out. It's on the ground. It's picked up by Lewis. He puts a kick oh, through. Yes. Todd Holmes is there. Ability to keep the ball alive has proved a little bit too good. The Harvey Norman replay showing a clever dummy on the outside by Lewis. Just looking side, but you've got to take him on through the middle. Because by going there, it draws the outside defenders in. And if you get the offload. All I thought it was Joseph Lailua who, who carried on there. Another great run from Pryor. He's been wonderful. Pryor. Straight into them. The clattering of bodies. Oh, Pryor tries to slip and it went back. It was touched by Canberra. Yeah, that's right, he passed it. And Hyington runs away. Chris Hyington will get... Ennis away to Matt Pryor who hasn't stopped from the opening whistle tonight. Down with Pryor. And Matt gets it out the back and has gone to win us. The inside picked up and six more tackles and Pryor takes it ahead. Back to the 20. So they've come up with the football. 1-7 in fact. As Pryor brings the ball back from the line dropout. The Sharks. And away from inside their own 10. Peter and I attended a funeral for one Massey down. They're hard to defend against. Matthew Price. In this first 40 minutes, Cameron Munster again in the fullback role for Billy Slater, as he will be for the remainder of 2016. Just here tonight with the injuries they've had. And the sin bit. Here's Harris. Driven backwards. And that's a couple of occasions now where they've had a chance, but the pass just hasn't been spot on when it's needed to be. Tiger's not making many metres to... And Maloney finds Caesar on the chest. Likewise to Nuasa. Good, tough start from the Sharks. Panthers 20, it goes across to Leilani Latu, this big man who's made a name for himself. Compensate from the first kick, which went out in the full. Well, he didn't. It was still a little bit too deep, and he's he's trying to kick to the sun over in that corner. Yeah, so quick, haven't we? Got some finishes, haven't we? Seen it today. And Josh Mansell's try for the Panthers. Ricks is pushed back again. Oh, and then Lewis just throws him out. Crunch, Mitchell Pierce. Unusual to see the veteran as the chaser. 
Well, Cooper Cronk for Billy Slater play. Now we put Gal in the class of Sharks home on that occasion. It was one of the 15 straight wins. Taylor going backwards. Ten but club officials on the way into the ground saying, our boys are excited, we're ready to go. He looks the player, doesn't he? They lure as Pryor got there just in time. Fighting the player quickly, Cook bumping into the feet of perhaps looking for a penalty. Might have been unlucky not to get one because it's a zero gain for by the coattail. I thought the feeder was tackled and passed. Uh, this topic a little bit of treatment. Doesn't get his foot to it, who cares anymore? The Eels have got it. Up came Pryor. Three metres out then. Ball played back there by Penrith. Heartache it was, in fact. Then by Penny. And now for Blake. See a Soliola, the veteran and a try scorer last week against South Sydney. Given a tough time right there by the Show Dragons. They're looking good with the communication. 18 points to 12. Hunt for the minor permission. Oh, Harper almost lost it there. It's a bit of a stumble and a bit of a slip. And okay, I've been impressed with Matt Pryor's defence and his attitude. Wingers. They had a bit of a crack. Yeah. Here's Harper. That's my understanding of the but a big day for Newcastle and we wish Jeremy Smith all the best. His last game on Old Boys Day there for the Knights. Barber, can't we? Jack it up to half a million. Next week, it'll be Cronulla versus Melbourne. Across to Pryor. And uh, he'll go close to the sideline. So it was 12 nil. Taken by Matt Pryor, who was the man that scored. Try scorer. A kid from, from Windsor. And his first grade debut was Penrith. In 2008, right arm at all. Well, as we see, Tim Grasby have his first touch. The saving grace for Cronulla is that they have a specialist. The Sharks, they want to step up to the mark. They know that they've got to be at their best. Pryor gives it away to Bakuya! Wacko! The ball came out, though. The ref said it went back. Townsend! To Townsend! Goes through and Townsend scores! In for the shuffle. Fusatua to fullback. Lolo here to the bench. On standby for Johnson. Hard, and in the end, he did exceptionally well. Thought it was going to fling out the back when he, he grabbed hold of it and hit the ground, but he did keep a hold. Yeah, really bad news down here for the Sharks. Uh, Paul gallon has got a ligament damage in his knee, and he won't be back for the night. So, real, uh, real blow for the Sharkies. It's a nice play there from Pryor. Aggressive defence. Uh, the ground. It was a good bounce eventually for Lachlan Coop. And Coop gets back just beyond his 20 metre line. They had their plenty of rain in Townsville this week, maybe keeping the numbers down a little, preventing a few people from travelling. There's still a healthy crowd in. This one skews a little, still floats. 59 metres. What about that? And that was with a little skew at the end. If he'd really driven it straight. And through Gareth with it. Wonderful defense from the Dragons with Nightingale trying to work it out now. Getting carried backwards. They've done their homework, the Dragons. A mop of hair this year. He's, he's certainly he's got a good harvest out of the off-season. They made their own luck with some judicious kicking inside the 20 against the Dragons last week. One try for Chad Townsend. A couple of kicks. They're inside the 30 of the Sea Eagles once again. Paulo going to Pryor, out the back. Ennis, quick pass. Luckily for the Manly, it went to ground. To get a touch and see what they can offer. How long before the best new factor, the Prince of Brookvale, is back. Strained a hamstring. Becky will play it, 35 out from the Manly line. Five. Running towards Starling and also Simons. Hard to get to ground. In fact, he offloads. Ennis, Townsend. Here's Lewis. Lewis there to put pressure on, and he was going for the footy as well. A lot of times we see the chase just run through and wait until 